Hello, hello. It's Serenity. I'm back. It's been a while, but I'm back. I've recorded several videos, but I don't think any of them fully encapsulated the space that I was in. Well, I guess it encapsulated the space that I was temporarily in, but it wasn't the space that I was aiming for, you know? So it's like, I didn't want to put that information out there because I was still traversing through another realm. So I didn't think it, I'm sorry guys if I look like I'm spacey, but I'm driving and I'm looking at the GPS giving me directions. Um, so yes, I, I feel like I have successfully traversed through the portal for which the realm that I was trying to fully settle into. And this realm is definitely a lot more relaxing. It wasn't at first, it was something to get used to because that wasn't how I was used to maneuvering through um, my reality. So the portal the shift was for me to transmute, reform, and remodel my masculine energy, all to revitalize fully my femininity because I was deeply rooted in my masculine. And it, it's nothing wrong with that because every um, human vessel, every incarnate human vessel and um, I guess animal vessel or, or alien vessel, I don't know. I haven't seen any aliens, but you never know. Um, has a human, uh, sorry, has a masculine and feminine energy form within the entirety of the form to balance it out. And we just... Um, exude it and harness it in different ways and I was using my masculine energy at first when I was younger I was using my masculine energy to pursue um, education uh, and higher knowledge and then when I broke out of that I'm going to take this charger off because it's annoying my fingertips excuse me but when I, I hopped on out of that educational realm, I was using my masculine energy to pursue, I guess, you know, it was still in pursuit of higher knowledge. It was still in pursuit of higher levels of awareness, but you know what it was? It was through the experience. It was like direct experience. So I went through the realm of educational knowledge, book knowledge, whatever. And then I went into a career to establish said knowledge and um, that was whatever. Um, it, it still wasn't close enough, apparently. So I wanted to get even closer than close to the actual specimen for which I was um, wanting to examine and experiment with um, so that I could kind of see the opposition of me through the eyes of them and um, reveal any subdued hurts or subdued judgments um, of the said opposition um, because I, I could never act as the opposition and opposition is not negative opposition is just opposite to how I move and operate in the world um, and so I was able to examine that in the masculine form through these individuals that I was attracting into my experience and on an even deeper note, we can only attract that which we are, we can only attract the energy for which we are vibrating at. So I guess it was like I was a complementary match to that vibratory frequency for which I was attracting. And initially, I was extremely vulnerable um, to being mishandled and mistreated um, by this, by the opposing energy, because I was still 
more deeply harnessing my own energy. And so when me and the opposing energy was in synergy, I was able to see myself more deeply and more clearly. And it helped me fine tune who it is that I am and who it is that I'm not and where it is that I'm going. And it took a lot of tussling through like this last individual for whom that I'm currently um, interconnected with. Every individual, even though they did harbor opposing energies, they showed me something that I've never experienced in the masculine form before. It wasn't all opposing. There was some positive factors that I experienced through them and it helped to confirm that within me so just to get slightly more uh, a little bit more um, specific as of late I summoned um, a protective energy by basically knowing what it is that I needed within me and putting a hedge of protection around myself so that so that I can stop experiencing the heavy entity that is manipulation um, but I was allowing myself to be manipulated but it never went as far as to me embodying that manipulation and behaving in the way that they wanted me to behave but it was more of me taking in the idea of the possibility of embodying that and and seeing myself and observing myself um, in the form of self-sacrifice for that individual to experience the realm for which they desire to experience. But now that I know what kind of realm I desire to experience and what kind of individuals I'm willing to be in synergy with in a sustained manner, now I know how I operate in that way and now I know what I'll tolerate and what I won't tolerate in that way and so I've, I've always kind of been on the verge of violation but because my perception is so keen I can see clear through the pattern of where um, this particular momentum would take me and I can pull myself out of it in the most safe and grounded way possible but usually it was to just eject myself from this situation completely and just block that individual out of my life so I don't have to experience that energy but as of late I wanted to even get out of the blocking energy I wanted to actually experience a grounded and protective essence outside of me um, so that I can fully ground that within myself. Not so, not so much so I won't need that outside of me, um, but just so I can experience it in a confirmatory way. Um, just to more, by, by externally experiencing it, I'm able to more deeply internalize it, if that makes sense. It's just like when we come here in this vessel and we experience lesson after lesson after lesson, um, through lifetimes and we ground the information more deeply each time we experience it externally each time until we internalize it and and, and are capable of moving on from that past life energy and into the the newer energy for which we are shifting into excuse me so um where was i going with this oh yeah so um i recently put a protective spell um, upon my aura. Let me try to remember what I said. If your presence does not make me feel grounded, safe, and protected, from my essence, ye shall be inevitably ejected. All unwarranted energies henceforth shall be redirected, irrevocably rejected. Solely interconnected if and only if purity is indisputably detected. And um, I really felt that on a deep level. Like I have a lot of 
poetic moments, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of revelations, but I don't know, I almost feel like I want to cry. I think it's because I've never really experienced a, a protective male energy. I've never felt completely safe around a male. I've never felt complete trust from a male energy. And, and I, I think that has impacted how much I trust my own masculine energy moving forward, which is something that I'm currently working on um, balancing and grounding within myself so that I can manifest all that I desire properly. But I had to go, but I took myself through all of these different realms to bring myself to this current realm for which I am in now and I feel so much lighter so much brighter um, and I have so much more clarity clear view moving forward um, and I know exactly the words to say I know exactly where it is that I'm coming from and where it what it is that I would like to project onto each and every interaction for which I am engaging in and um, I'm glad to be here but this current male energy um, that I have summoned has been very helpful in displaying to me the the concept of protection um, and he had to come in a very very particular form um, in order I'm gonna move because they're filming over here and it's interrupting my my mojo it's really it's really interrupting me there's a police home I'm gonna put this down uh, but they're not looking at me so whatever but um uh, they're, they're focused on something else so they don't care that I'm being an illegal eagle by having my phone out but um yeah he had to come in a very very particular form essentially he is my soul's mate at this time just like all the other individuals that i attracted they were my soul's mate at that time and they um but i'm trying to see what i learned well i guess i learned Every time I try to think about the past and, and what I learned from someone, it's just like, okay, I already did that, so I'm not about to go back there and waste my energy on that, so whatever. Um, but, man, they're going so slow. Like, I could fall asleep, like molasses or something. Um, but, yeah. But, yeah, I am truly in love with the way in which this individual responds to me instinctively um like he's like intuitive in the sense that he can read what it is that i need and it's helping me to trust in him in certain moments for which we share together and it's also helping me to communicate um, my desires and my needs more easily mainly because he actually asks what my needs are I've never had a man ask me what it is that I need or what it is that I desire and sincerely want to actually fulfill it and it it doesn't it doesn't hurt that his form is edible and delicious and delectable because I'm sure there would be a man out there that would want to fulfill my desires but my attraction is insanely specified and if you don't come if you don't arrive in the particular form in the particular meticulate order for which I desire for you to behave and look like and not even behave but naturally exist as without me having to manipulate you know and shift the situation to my to my liking um then it's just not gonna be purely synergistic there's gonna be 
too much conflict and um, I'm not really about that life. Um, but this individual is also helping me to see that I can move through conflict in a healthy way with the masculine energy because, excuse me, a lot of the masculine energies that I've interacted with have um, met me at the point of opposition or complete ignorance, yeah, um, or just with the desire to distance themselves as opposed to working through it with me in a graceful and stealthy manner um, with tender, loving compassion. And even if you're not capable of doing that, um, even if, but they weren't even capable of doing that, but this individual um, is capable of taking the time to listen and at least try to understand where I'm coming from and that is deeply appreciated and he's also helping me to learn how to be more grounded in the now and and learn how to actually surrender that's a big one for me i've never surrendered my energy to a masculine energy um fully and deeply and sincerely um ever it's always either been out of force or out of um, the desire to sacrifice just because I know that's what they want. So, you know, most of it is me because I'm ready to experience it. And the other confirmatory half of it is him. And um, I just feel grateful. And I'm just graciously moving through this new period and I can't wait to see what happens next. Um, and that's where I'm at. So right now I'm just working with this, um, with this male energy and in tandem working with my inner male energy and working deeply on learning how to receive as a divine feminine and as well as nurture, as well as um, stay in tune with that, with my emotions enough to not allow them to cloud my judgment and not allow them to make me feel reactive, but allow me to be responsive um, in the most healthy and balanced way and him showing me that he is able and capable to be responsive in the most balanced and caring way is helping me to stay on track with that path which is what i want to do anyway and which is who i am anyway but it just feels good to be in this space um and with this current dynamic it's not as heavy as the others it's not like I'm looking for a relationship to happen I'm not looking I don't have any set expectations or intentions I'm more like flowing with what it is that I'm destined to learn from this experience and that's why it's probably less heavy because I'm not putting the heaviness onto it like the lightheartedness is just flowing through me and it really is truly a beautiful space to be in um other than that i'm planning my first trip out of town by myself usually i go out of town with um with um, my mom and my brother but it's the first time I'm going out of town by myself and I'll be going to New Orleans and I can't wait I think it's going to give me some time to have a lot of clarity um, even though I'm always introspective it's going to help me to be even more deeply introspective but I'm just going to be more in tune because I just love the aesthetic of the place and I love the soul of the place because um, I went there for my birthday and it was um, deeply cathartic just being there. I feel like I had like a 
I, I'm drawn there so deeply that it feels like I've had a past life there, but I'm not gonna speak too much on that because I don't I don't really know yet. And maybe I'll get some more information and more insight once I get there and it's all unveiled to me. So that's gonna be super exciting. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for connecting with my energy. And um, if you want to connect with me, you can contact me at PositivelyPeacefulInspirations at gmail.com or on my Instagram at Serene Seraphim. Blessed be, beautifully beloved beings. Until next time. Bye-bye.